Julius, you have to set it up. Julius? Um, Julius? Oh, you have to. Uh, hi, I'm Joaquin. Uh, I come from Google X. Uh, I work uh, on a program co project called GDS Factory. So I've been working on this for four years. Uh, this is a project uh, that we have like in the last year. It grew like ten times. So we are reaching like uh, 33 developers from different companies. We are reaching like almost a million downloads now. So the idea is, is it's an open source flow uh, for circuit design, uh, verification and validation. So we we trying to be the Linux for chip design. Uh, mo mostly for oh, down. Oh, first down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. So yeah, the idea is that you start with your design. So you describe your design in Python or YAML. You can simulate it, optimize it. Uh, we, it's Python friendly, so it's very easy to use with all the machine learning tools, all the cloud-based tools. Um, then you can verify it, so make sure it works. So you can generate DRC decks. Uh, and finally, you need, you can validate it. So once you do your design, you can put like labels for automatic testing. So by the time your chip comes back, you already know how to test it. So yeah, programmatic layout. So all the P cells are defined. Uh, you define your P cells or parametric cells in Python, uh, and so they are functions. So it's very easy to chain them. You can do uh, all the functional programming tricks that you can make. You can separate them into different functions. You can do function for routing. Uh, yeah. So once you have the layout, you can take it to simulations, and then you can do like also the, the system level, like uh, circuit design. Uh, so the idea is you write your P cells in Python and VS Code or whatever editor you like. Then you run, and then you can see your layout editor showing your layouts. And then you can also s s uh, use it with circuit simulators, TCAT solver. So these are all plugins that we have a, a common API to drive them. So it's like a way to just one API to drive them all. So you only need to learn one tool, like pip install GDS factory, start writing some Python code, and then you're you're ready to go. Your chips will 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 be will be made. Yeah, as I was saying, it, we're sending 33 developers from different companies, extensible plugin library. So this is what made the, the, the tool very popular in the last year. So you can see it's only four years old, but in the last year we went like ten times uh, stars and ten times contributors and ten times download. Uh, many companies using it, so this is uh, a lot of companies and universities using it and developing it. Uh, a lot of times people also ask, we, we have also PDKs, we're trying to figure out how to make PDKs more open, so we have the open source PDKs that Google has been working on. So I've been working with Tim Ansel, who's there, uh, on working on this side, trying to make this as a Photonics PDK. I'm a Photonics chip designer. Uh, there's also the Global Foundry, the Skywater. Uh, but we also have PDKs available under NDA, but yeah, you need to talk with the Foundry to get them. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. How do you get started? You can learn from the browser if you're a beginner or you have never used Python. You can even download the GDS factory uh, as a package, and you in, we, we even have an installer. And uh, yeah, install the layout, and you can go see, see the videos on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you very much.